Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, and uh, welcome to another edition of Movie Night Live from the Monastery of Mayhem. I've got uh, Brother James here. Um, What's up, bitches? Yes, and what, what have you got there? Peppermint schnapps? It's only noon. It's a little early for that, don't You're you right. think? I better drink fast. I gotta catch up. Hell, I'm behind. And uh, our uh, guest today is uh, with the group Quicksand Devil, and I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Zeke Lama. Uh, Zeke Lama, and uh, so Zeke, um, tell us a little bit about Quicksand Devil and, and you know what, what your group's about. We're a thrash metal band out of Omaha, Nebraska. Pretty much, uh, we'll play any show anywhere. We're kind of a shock rock type deal. We like to get people thinking, and a lot of our songs are very in your face, and we take criticism as it comes. Hey, it sounds like this show, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like we know all about criticism on this show. I mean, it's like that's our stock and trade. That and bad jokes and girls with big jugs and everything. Yeah, yeah. and the occasional restraining order. Yeah, we it's find like, ways around. That. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to talk about it that. It happens. Yeah, it's like it happens. certain red-headed hack we have to deal with. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Freak! <laughs> anyway, loser in a lab coat. <laughs> yep, yep. Hack. <laughs> but anyway, um, ooh, better get that cold looked at. Yeah. So uh, Zeke, now, um, how long is uh, how long has uh, Quicksand Devil been in existence now? We've been around for about ten years. Okay. And uh, you you pl I know you've played some of our old haunts such as uh, Chrome and yeah. the Hideout and yeah. a few yeah. other places. And you did mention the Sokol and. You guys were on Metal on the Mall? Yes, we were. Okay, and um, now is that a, the Metal on the Mall, is that a yearly event or...? Yep, it's a yearly event put on by uh, a couple of our friends in another band. Uh, they pretty much do it every year and they get a handful of bands together and they go downtown, play a free event for everybody to watch. Okay, and um, alright, well... Just want to throw out a couple of quick side notes to all of our fans and listeners out there and our viewers. Uh, the Angry Brothers will be appearing on the 20th of April at the, um, at the Pro Marijuana Rally put on by the Libertarian Party and the Nebraska, the Nebraska Marijuana Party. Uh, that is going to be at the, um, the Green Bridge, what's called the Green Bridge. If you're, if you're going, it's outside of the UNO campus. Uh, between the campus entrance and the park, it's that pedestrian footbridge. Uh, there's going to be bands, there's going to be free food, and I believe some free beer. And, and other for all the marijuana enthusiasts, just walk up to someone and say, Dude, where's the rally? <laughs> it's like, yes, and uh, if you see a group, big group of people there, you're probably in the right place. Yeah, Brother James doesn't need marijuana. He's got all that he needs right here. Well, it's like, I don't know about you, but an occasional blunt would be not be out of order. But anyway, that's Monday the 20th, and it starts at 3 p.m. Uh, so just come on down, uh, show support for the Libertarian Party. Uh, and bring bring Doritos, lots of Doritos. Yeah, and bring bring pizza. But anyway, uh, Zeke, um, you know, we hope we'll, we'll see you. Bring beer. At, yeah. Where, where's, where's the beer? All right, shut up. We, we know you're an alcoholic, all right? <laughs> um, so, Zeke, uh, you know, we hope we'll see you at the rally. And, uh, you know, uh, we and uh, also, on a side note here, Brother Jack will be appearing at Congregation, which is April the 24th, 25th, and 26th at the Holiday Inn Central on 72nd and Grover. Uh, myself and one of my... Uh, one of my uh, girls, either Inferna, Lady Torrid, uh, Veronique, uh, whoever we can get, will be going around interviewing the, co the cosplayers and the uh, uh, convention goers, and we'll be shooting a segment for the show. And we're also going to be appearing at O Comic Con, and uh, that is over at the Max Center in Council Bluffs. And that will be, we'll announce that when we get that date nailed down. But uh, sorry about that, had to throw that out there for uh, for everyone, Zeke. Um, so. Now you say you're 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 th you're thrash metal, and let me ask you, what's all right? I know about heavy metal, but what's the difference? What's with what's the difference between heavy metal and thrash metal? It's all the same. It's loud. It's fast. It's aggressive. Okay. okay what about all right? What about death metal? Same little, thing. A little more angry. Okay, a little more angry. Um, group like Guar. Now, uh, where do you guys are? Do you uh, are you kind of? Uh, 
you know, modeling yourselves after them? Are you in that vein or? Not at all. Guar is its own band, one mm. of a kind. There will be another Guar. Okay. So now I noticed that you're wearing the mask. Do you wear the mask on stage or? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes it does happen. Okay. And the rest of your band, um, let, tell us about them. I mean, you said it was a four, four piece group? Four piece band. Okay. And how did you guys all meet? I mean, I don't friends know. or just kind of happened? No, it just kind of happened, man. One by one, we just all got together and started building it. Okay. Song here, song there. Well, yeah, it's like well, those things happen. I mean, you know, it's like you can't, you can't, you can pick your, you can pick your, well, you can't pick your friends and you can't pick your relatives, but you can kill them all. There you go. It's like, hmm, I can think of a few relatives that I wouldn't mind getting rid of and, um, Keep drinking, we'll have an easier shot. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we'll just wait till he's asleep and yeah, right? make it look like an accident. Bring friends, green boy. Yeah. Lots of them. <laughs> and, you know, if, if you're going to drink this shit, hold the label out so we can charge them for promotional fees. What? Oh, now we're doing gratuitous product placement? Hell yes. It's like, hey, whatever makes me a buck. The Kuiper. Send the check here, please. There you go. Um, well, tonight's movie, we've got us a really great indie film. It's called Music Store Massacre. Now, the cast, um, the cast is, is basically all unknowns, and they're mostly from uh, the, I believe it's the local Wisconsin area, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. The film was produced by a, a friend of ours, a fan of the show, named Gordy Price. Gordy. Uh, Gordy, how you doing, man? Um, the film is about a demonically possessed guitar that um, finds its way through several owners and the movie is kind of the anthology of the experience of these owners uh, as they fall under the spell of this guitar and um, essentially the guitar is a or either possesses or is a demonic entity in its own right um, it causes unbelievable hatred and anger in anyone who plays it and that forces them to go out and commit various acts of homicide. Um, I had a wedding ring like that. Yeah, it's like, I seem to recall that, you know, it's like, um, you put that thing on and you turn into a total douchebag, you know. Mm -hmm. Didn't even need to play anything, you just put it on and suddenly you were a douchebag. Yeah, yeah hey, that happens. Yeah, yeah, it's like, but anyway, um, you know, the, uh, the one least I could get a woman there, monk boy. Well, it's like, why do I Without. need paying for it. Well, it's like, yeah, and you say that like it's a bad thing, yeah, you know, well, it's like... Got the money, what the That's hell? right. You know, at least, hey, get what you pay for, you know, get the Every most time. bang for your buck. You know, you can't get that in the dating world. No, 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 no. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I, a friend, friend of mine said, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna date a girl, date a girl who's bi. Turns out, I did that, but it turned out she was bipolar and not the other kind. It's like, damn it. Yeah, she said she was bi and she meant bipolar. There you go. It's like, this total Jekyll and Hyde thing. I you know. We spent quite a few nights in county over that one. Yes, it did. I mean, sitting in that cell going, wow. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but anyway, um... You know, the movie, there are some really great scenes in the movie, and we'll talk a little bit more about those uh, in the next segment. But, uh, Zeke, so, um, you know, now, uh, if we were to go to one of your shows, what would we, what would we expect? I mean, anything, anything unusual there, or you got... Lots of lights, lots of amplifiers, big-ass, loud, scary music coming at you, a lot of screaming. From there, you take it. Get drunk, get crazy, and just destroy the place with us. He just described my wedding night. Yeah, it sounds like my proctologist's office, you know? <laughs> scary, big, scary dude coming oh, to you with a glove. I gotta scrub that off. You know, you know it's like, deck. I heard he got a job for the TSA, you know, they call him the Fist of Justice. That would be your supplemental screening, wouldn't it? Yes, you, uh, if they hear you, uh, if you ever get told... Yeah, but dude, you go to the TSA and volunteer for that shit. Well, it's like everybody needs a hobby. But anyway, um, yeah, well, we won't talk about my hobbies, you know. It's like, yeah, I saw that. You, you, th this stuff can go bye-bye. Who pays for this stuff? Me. Me! You unemployed asshole. <laughs> anyway. Um, I have a job, thank you. Yes, yeah, such as it is. It's like, here's your job. Please don't fire me. 
Corporate America, baby. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, we're gonna get those, we're gonna get those reinforced patches for the knees of all your your slacks, so you don't wear them out so quick, you know. It's getting expensive yeah. keeping you in clothes. Yeah, I hear you. But um, obviously, you didn't spend money on the socks. No, well, no, it's like yeah. ran out of money when we got down there, huh? Yeah, it's like um, no, we do normally wear shoes and socks. No, 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 that's my homage to Miami Vice. Right on. Yeah, it's like yeah. Well, at least he's not wearing a pastel suit. But, um, all right, so we're going to get on with the movie here, uh, Music Store Massacre by Gordy Parks, and uh, that's going to be here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama, and we'll be back with uh, Zeke Lama of Quicksand Devil, and you enjoy the movie, and we'll see you at the break. Mr. Johnson, got a couple more hours, and I can finish off the preliminary audit. Preliminary? Let me be frank, Mr. Johnson. Probably keep the worst books I've ever seen. Bank statements don't match your receipts. There's cash missing everywhere. There's probably going to be a criminal investigation. Come on, man. He's a business owner trying to make it in the world. You know, can't we work something out, man? I help you out, you help me out. Mr. Johnson, I know you're not trying to bribe me. you know the penalty for trying to bribe an official of the Internal Revenue Service? Man, I'm just doing a freaking bank deposit, dude. Yeah, I'll pretend I didn't see that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my work now. Same office? Yes, sir. Thank you. I swear, that son of a that sold me that Chinese piece of crap flute better give me my money back. Who told me it was made in America? I don't want some slant-eyed piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm gonna charge you $500 for it, but I went home and I looked on the internet, and it sells for $100. And I look at it, and it says, Made in China. It'll be a cold day in hell before I buy anything made in China. I mean, we have this Chinese family living in our neighborhood. I mean, frankly, I can't even believe they were allowed to buy a house. Get blindfolded with dental floss. I mean, you know I'm right. <laughs> The money? Yeah, I got the money. So, Grady's gonna be in the store tomorrow morning after 10 o'clock by himself. Just get in and get out, and make it look like a fucking robbery, but you have got to make sure that you kill this motherfucker. No problem, you sure this is what you want? Yeah, this is definitely what I want, man. My husband's a worthless piece of shit. You've got to make sure that you kill this bastard. I ain't no problem, I'll make sure he's dead. But if I get fucked, you get fucked, you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand, man. All right, then we're straight. followers welcome back what do you think of music store massacre so far did you like the scene where the chick got her ass filleted yeah it's like the guy took the big fillet knife cut off one of her butt cheeks and you know was running around the room with it <laughs> so uh, that gives a whole new meaning to the term this sandwich tastes like ass well it's like i mean yeah he just 
carve that motherfucker right off, you know? Of course, you know, you gotta admire him for creativity. The, uh, what'd you think about the IRS guy getting bashed, his head bashed in with that cello? You know, it's like... A waste of a good cello. Well, I being tax time, I'm sure there were a lot of people in the audience going, yeah! Well, yeah, the IRS, that's what they do to the American public every April yeah. 15th. Yeah, they, Someone comes along and carves their ass off. Yep, yeah, but it's like, that's true. I mean, we all get our... As someone who just did my taxes said, you know, we all get our asses filleted April 15th. But anyway... I thank mean, you, Uncle Sam! No, thank you, Obama! Dude, why do you blame Obama for everything? Why not, you know? Because there's a whole group of them involved in that situation, well, and they're all douchebags. Yes, yeah, this is true, but I like to prefer to blame the douchebag at the top. He's the one out there in front of the camera. So guess what, pal? You get the blame. What? You get, I get that blame a lot. You get gang raped, and you blame one guy in that whole deal? No, it's like I pretty much blame them all, but he's the only one we see. He's the only name we he's know. He's the front man. You don't blame the band because of the front man. That's right. Well, you're the front man for Quicksand Devils. And I'm allowed to get away with a lot of there shit because I'm the front man. There you go. It's like, okay, well, let's talk about that. Now, um, you know, since, you know, we're, we're all about, you know, pulling back the curtain on things around here, and we do it a lot, believe me. Um, what's, yeah, what's, so what's, what's, uh, what's the most unusual show you've ever played? Or the most unusual situation and just remember, you know, you can change the names to protect the guilty. Sure, sure. Um, it would have to be one of our shows at the hideout for sure. Drunken Rage, ex-wife showed up, uh, tried to put the kiboshes to the whole show, but... You know, so your, your ex-wife showed up and tried to put you, the kibosh on the whole she show? She tried to. What, you're not, allowed to do, you're not allowed to do shows? Or? I don't know what the deal is. Uh, We're exes. Ah, uh, well, yeah, exes, it's like... Yeah, you know, I've got my share of crazy exes, and you want to address yeah, that. Through. You want to address that, you whose exes are legion. You know, you freak. Not many, do you? <laughs> He's a freak magnet. You know. <laughs> Come on. Just, well, you know. I'm a again. I'm a freak magnet. What can I tell you? No, you. But I get chicks. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh my God. You get crazy chicks. Mm -hmm. You know. It's like. You know, how many restraining orders, how many restraining orders, uh, how many times have we had to go rescue you from some crazed Cuba? you know, the free, how many freedom tours have we had to spring you, you know, me and a group of friends will show up at your place, swoop in like the friggin' Delta Force, load everything up, you throw were, you in the back of the truck, right. you and... <laughs> Vanish before your with sex got nothing on you guys, man. <laughs> no, it's like shit. We should be. We I should go be. to sleep in one place, wake up somewhere else. It's like, oh, with sex been here. <laughs> That's right. You know, it's like you know our good friend uh, with the shrine clowns, uh, cue ball, and the Oops Freedom Tour of nineteen. Was that? that was actually two thousand. That was two thousand. Yes, the Oops Freedom Tour of two thousand. I mean, we had a like four city engagement on that one. You know. Yeah. We sprung you on Saturday, and we sprung him on Sunday, and we had you both relocated by Monday. Bitch couldn't find you forever, you know? It's like, you know, we should go into business for that, you know, start working for the, for the government, you know? We go spring these dudes from their bad relationships, and we set them up in somewhere, and we take a big fat payoff for it. You know, anybody who needs a, anybody who needs to be sprung from your current relationship and you need a group of guys to come in and get your shit and get out before your crazy ex finds out and takes all your stuff, give us a call here at the show. You know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll work something out for you. But, okay, so, Zeke, now you said the uh, ex showed up, tried to shut the show down. How did, how did that turn out? I mean, did... Uh, it turned out good. They chased her on out of there. Okay. It was a damn good show with some incredible bands. Uh, there was a big fight outside. Um, it was a blast, All from right. what I was told. All right. Well, let's let's uh, let's talk about the chicks. A lot of a lot of hot girls go to your shows. Or? No, I don't know. I don't mm. really see past the lights. Okay. Well, it's like if you're a hot girl and you go to a Quicksand Devils show. Here I am. Yes. It's like here he is, and let us know, and and you know we can. Uh, you know, we can we can talk about it, get your side of the story, you know, we're all about we're all about equal time. You here. don't have to be hot. You can be butt ass ugly. Just walk up, introduce yourself, and hey. we'll take time for you. There you go. 
man of the people here. That's what we do. That's We're right. here for you. That's right. That's and right. In most cases, the ugly one is the nice one. Okay. I am not. I am not going. <laughs> it's like, and how much of that? What's nice got to do with it, damn it? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, why does not, why does nice, you know, even a factor? But you know what? I'm sorry. A, a pretty bitch is still a bitch. Okay. Wow. Sometimes that's uh, that's just no fun. <laughs> Wow. I'd rather talk to a nice girl who happens to have a few pounds on her than a Wait, pretty. You're not being polite. You want to hit? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. More for me. No. Okay. Hey, we try be to be walking out of here judging bitches. Uh, hey, we That's try to be. Thing. We try to be polite here. But, all right, so, now where's, um, you said the band is on hiatus currently, is that right, or? Are you, uh, we've just got things to working. We're, uh. You're regrouping right we're now. We're regrouping. We, uh, had to make a lineup change, which it really worked out in our best favor. It really brings a lot more to the shows. Uh, we all need a little break. Um, take some time for the family and whatnot and get things straightened out before we start playing again. Okay. Uh, working on some upcoming songs. We're going to try and get an EP out, hopefully by the end of the summer. Um, we'll get out there and start doing some shows roughly around June, hopefully. That's what we're shooting for. And if, um, all right, if someone wants to hear any of your music, uh, do you have do you have any th places online where we can oh, yeah. uh, listen to it? And I think you told me about something on, is it YouTube or is it SoundCloud? Uh, we've got some stuff on YouTube. You can find us on Spotify, definitely on Reverb Nation. Go okay. there and shout at us. I definitely try to answer everybody who says something. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you can find myself personally at Zeke Lama on Facebook. Uh, I take care of most of throwing the dumb shit out there for the band. Okay. All right. And, well, uh, let's see. Um, so... So when we should be expecting to hear from you, what, say, sometime this summer? Or maybe? This summer, definitely. Okay. We're going to make you sweat. Yeah, it's like summer's in Omaha. We do nothing else but it's be sweat. Like a rainforest going on your ass crack when you come to our show. Okay, well, <laughs> let me just, let's just have a moment and mull that one over. You know, okay, thanks, Zeke. It's going to take me at least six months of therapy to get that one off. Uh, that's a small bill. Yeah. Send it to Zeke Lama on Facebook, like I said. All right, and you know, uh, any of our friends and fans, Zeke is in our friends list, so you can find him through our friends list as well. And uh, he's going to be, we're going to be doing a little write up on uh, Quicksand Devil on the blog, and you'll be able to see us on the Roku channel and our public access outlets. And you know, uh, don't forget good old Kapow, yes, here Kapow on. Channel 22 on Cox. If you're in Omaha itself, if you're out in you know, Ralston, La Vista, unfortunately... Move to someplace better! Well, that's beside the point. town Yeah. Um, now, you're... Uh, you're... You guys are not from Omaha itself. Are you from Omaha proper? Uh, here and there. Uh, yeah. Here and there? Okay. Here and there. We've been around. Okay, great. Um, well, you know, like I said, if you're not... If you're... If you're um, what do you call it, a CenturyLink customer, we are on Channel 3, same time, Saturday mornings, 1 a.m. Um, you know, it's like, there's a lot of ways to catch our show, and, you know, also check out our YouTube page, and just Google Angry Brothers YouTube. And, and if you're sitting right home on Saturday morning at 1 a.m., get a life, get a woman, get out of your parents' friggin' basements. Right, move upstairs. Yeah, it's like the TV, they probably got a better TV up there anyway, you know? You don't have to watch that little black and white piece of shit downstairs. No. For sure. Less less to travel to get some snacks out of the fridge. There you go. The bathroom's probably closer oh, anyway, you know? It's like uh, too yeah, much Taco thing. Bell, you don't want a big staircase between you and the crapper, you know? No doubt there. <laughs> that could be messy. Speaking of, you want to address that there? Uh... Any sliders lately? No, sorry, dudes. I've given up my adult diapers. I gave them all to you. Yeah. Yeah, well, sorry. It's like, I worked long. I worked long and hard for them adult diapers, believe me. You know, it's like, I, I, I'm celebrating my decrepitude, you know. Brother Jack's pushing 50 and then some, so it's like, I'm on the high side of drooling on myself, so I'm looking forward to it, you know. Nice. Having some pretty girl powder my butt, you know, and I can sit in my goddamn recliner and, 
you know, veg out, you know, as I hit that downward slide into senility, you know, and I can live long enough to be a burden on my family. That would be him, you know, it's like, and uh, while we're about the subject, you know, I, I do want to be put in, a, put in a nursing home with a reasonably attractive female staff, you know, yeah. and, you know, I, I'd like a, one of them uh, adjustable beds, you know, and with the sleep numbers and all that. And... Do you speak Uranian, perchance? Because that's where you're going. Uranus? <laughs> you're Uranian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uranian. Uranian? Your, your attendant, uh, Mahmoud, who... Uh, Happens to be an escapee from one of those pro. You're gonna you're gonna send me to ISIS for my golden years. Is that what you're fucking That's telling me right. about? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Oh what? So you, I'm gonna be on the uh, I'm gonna be on YouTube, you know, and they're gonna behead me on. on... Oh no no, I think it's gonna go on on the other end. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, all right. See that cane he's got. Guess where that's gonna go. Uh, not, unless, not unless somebody buys me dinner first. <laughs> I want gonna, you're gonna feel I want a little, dinner and drink. You're gonna feel that on the way you're here. You're gonna feel out. a little pressure there. <laughs> in the hand out. Yeah, it's like I want dinner and drinks first. But anyway, and since when have you ever settled for dinner and drinks? Hey, Hell, hey, you secrets. Do you do it for a pitcher of beer. Well, he got his drink. Yeah, rumors. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna get back to the movie. Music Store Massacre here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama, and we'll be back. Uh, Followed by the sequel, Talk Show Massacre Part Two. Yeah, yeah, we've got all kinds of things planned for that one. But... Or the subtitle, The Green Face Motherfucker Dies. Are you a little hostile? You a hostile? That's not the red face motherfucker. You're a hostile little bitch today, aren't you? Wow. Yeah, it's like what? It's, He's that's... pissed because Chick didn't show up for the show. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, I took a day off work for this. Right? Mm, well, it's, it's as like, good as it gets right here. This is as good as it gets, you know. Three, Sitting right three here. dudes hanging out, you know. Woo! Get in! It's like sausage fest. Hey, now. Hey, you know, sometimes you got glad I got the fucking club, I'll tell you that. That's right. I'm glad I got booze. Right, you're not going to feel much. Yeah, it's like, well, you know what? This stuff, oh wait, what's this say on the back? Ooh, not fit for human consumption. Did you buy this in Iowa? Hey, 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 this is the finest that Iowa has to offer. Uh-huh, yeah, and let me guess, it came out of some guy's truck in Ameristar's parking lot, right? It came out of his bathtub. Nice. Yeah, it's like, you know, you, don't, you might want to give us a smile there, you know, that, gr that busted up grill of yours, it's like, hey, go fund me, contribute. Yeah, it's like buy him some teethuses. Yeah, the, the poster boy for he needs uh, teeths. The poster boy for the meth grill here. <laughs> Tell me, when did you get into treatment there? If I could afford meth, would I be sitting here talking to your ass? Drinking de Kuiper, de Kuiper, de Kramer. He'd be getting some good schnapps instead of that swag. That <laughs> gut wash. <laughs> You know, that's the, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I offend you? <laughs> it's not good enough for quicksand devil, damn it. No, it's like, <laughs> I know why doesn't you hand them a yeah, bottle right. They're going to hand exactly. it. Exactly. You got anything a, better? Why not with a preference, don't drink this. <laughs> right. Do I offend you? Oh, but wait a minute. What's that on the back? <laughs> oh, look. It has the Council Bluffs Trailer Park Seal of Approval. You know, and we all know about girls from Council Bluffs. What's the first thing a Council Bluffs girl says after she says sex? Dad, you want to get off me? You're crushing my smokes. Whoa. Damn, I went there. <laughs> I have nothing to do with that statement. Council, I love you, Council Bluffs Council girls. Bluffs. I raised a lot of you. Council Bluffs, call the show. <laughs> we want to hear from you. Send Dude, us an email. That's a damn shame right there. You're going to get killed in Council Bluffs. <laughs> that's all right. We we go in there in disguise anyway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what the... Yeah, it's like, hey, Council Bluffs, send us some great emails, you know, send us some death threats. Send, send them to them. Yeah, send us some hardcore pornography. We can take it. You know uh, what? You know how I make it to Council Bluffs? I go over there with a job application stapled to my shirt. <laughs> I'm invisible! You're sure that's not North Omaha? You go down there with a the job application, it's kind of like kryptonite. They all scatter. 
But no, we love you, North Omaha. No, we don't. Council Bluffs? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we hate your guts. But what are you gonna do? Hey, Council Bluffs now, wait a minute, now let's not be too hard on Council Bluffs. It is the land of legalized gambling and hardcore pornography. You know, how many, but how many adult, well wait a minute, we do have a couple of adult bookstores here in Omaha. We have, Where? Uh, Under your bed? <laughs> no, no, alright, well not so much adult <laughs> bookstores. We have Dr. John's, and we have uh, Lover's Luxuries, you know. Overpriced dildos. <laughs> well, it's like I didn't say it was a perfect situation. Oh. No. Pricing dildos now. Yeah, it's like when. Do you want it in your ass or don't yes. you? Yes, you want something you want to share with the group there, son? Excuse me, who was a sponsor on this show? No, it's like, hey, and we love you guys. We want to be, we want you to sponsor us again, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, next time pay your fucking bill. That's right, Shakarama, the yeah. home of cheap alcohol and cheap dildos. Yeah, it's like, what, Bam. what made America great, you know? <laughs> That's where it's at right there. That's right. God bless America. Anyway, we're going to get back, uh, we'll get back to the movie, and we'll be back with the conclusion of Music Store Massacre here on the Angry Brothers Omaha sure Shock Rocks. No, sorry, this is for real men. Well, then why are you drinking it? This is for closers. Oh, it's for real men. You mean your wife? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, well, that's fine. Yes. Last time I recall, she seemed to kick your ass on a regular basis. <laughs> Tell me about it. I got the missing teeth to prove it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's like, okay, will you quit that, man? Cue the banjo music! Yeah, I know, it's like, hey, here's another joke. What do you call a family reunion in Council Bluffs? A full set of teeth! Oh! <laughs> oh, I went there! It's like, you look, is he buying it? Is he smiling or what? Well, He'll never man. come back to this show again. Uh, we hope I'm it. just along for the ride. There you go. It's like... We got a lot of first guests here on the show, but we don't get too many seconds. Well, it's like, yeah, this is oh. true. It's like, they usually run screaming into the night, you know. It's I know. Like, I figure about three days in the restraining order will show up. Yeah, it's like, should we just, uh, you know, give you all the information so you can send the sheriff over to talk to him? Oh, no. All right. Quick said, don't discriminate. Yeah. We have yeah. all kinds. All right, well, like I said, prince, prince among men, you know. South Omaha, Vatos, we hang with you too, man. Yeah, the only place that none, of us, yeah, no, the place that none of us are welcome is West Omaha. We make those rich bastards nervous. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Pretty what? sure with cheap alcohol and cheap dildos, everybody's nervous. There you go. Like, yeah, they, they see that. Cheap alcohol and cheap dildos like it's a bad thing. Well, they see him. I'm just saying. They see him coming and, you know, houses go up for sale. Just saying. You know? Yeah, that's right. Put that, put that, put that ugly thing away, you know? I, I got to look at that busted up grill like 23 out of 24 hours every day. Motherfucker, five or seven days a week. Oh, I'm sorry. That muscle spasm in my hand yeah, is yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna. See? Get, yeah. I don't know what you do with that. I don't want to know what you do with that finger. Thank you. <laughs> um, we'll get back to the show. Welcome back, faithful followers. What did you think of Music Store Massacre? I mean, did you like the? The only scene I didn't like was the one where they killed the little dog and. You know, I, I, I kind of, that one they kind of... They killed the dog? Yeah, it's like, the guy came home, he was possessed by the guitar, and he took it out on his little dog, and, you know... It's, yeah, it's like, I mean, not not cool, but, you know, it's I understand it's it's artistic. Yeah, but years of chewing shit up, that dog probably had it coming, too. Well, it's like, I think he peed on the rug in the scene or something, and that's what See? set the whole damn thing off. You pee on that's the what rug starts you pee on the rug every other day, I don't beat your brains out. Yeah, but I can't help that. I got a medical condition, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a medical condition. That's yeah. my story, and, and, I'm, yeah, and stick I'm sticking to, to it. Just ask mom about that, you know? Yeah. She knows what she knows to say. She better know what's good for her. This is what happens when your mother drinks while caring. Well, it's like but, that, and we'll hide her teeth again, you know? <laughs> She steps out of line, she loses her teeth for several weeks, you know. Good luck gumming that steak, Mom. You guys would fit in Council Bluffs just fine. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, we did uh, live Why do you there. knock them down like that? Well, we did live there for a while. We actually lived there for like, what, 13 years? Really? 
Yeah, from like 80 to 1992, 1992. No, oh, good times over there. That was Logan, oh, Iowa. That was Logan, yeah. <laughs> Where Logan. Men are men and sheep are freaked out. Hey, hey, don't be talking, don't be talking bad about no sheep, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Did that remind you of your prom date? No, it reminded me of your prom date. <laughs> oh, that's what was wrong with my prom date. You already got to her. And that's for you. That's for horse you ride in on. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, so what did you all think of uh, Music Store Massacre? I mean, did you like the bit with the, uh, with the, where the uh, priest in the beginning cut off his own leg and they, he's having that little conversation with the guitar? I mean, the guitar is talking to him and he's in there hacking his own leg off with a saw and everything. And What do you call a priest that saws his own legs off? Dumbass. A good start. <laughs> Damn good start. But anyway, no, no, we have. We're sure that we're sure that there are many good priests in the Catholic Church, and they're not all the uh, ones you hear about in the newspaper. So you know, we're not going to sit here and and bash and bash the priests. You know, it's like a lot of them do a lot of good work. So we're gonna we're gonna. Says the man wearing the dress. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's hey. the priest of Poontang. That's right, yeah. It's like, I'm Brother Jack Angry. I work for Down Below, you know? Hello. You know, I should say, actually, it's Bishop Jack Angry. I did get my promotion. So, uh, you know, you can't, you want to you wanna disrespect the man, but not the uniform, okay? Jesus Christ, are you going to finish that whole fucking bottle, man? I do. If you were half a man, you'd be done with it by now. Yeah. You ain't got nothing else to do, sit on a couch with two goofy dressed up dudes. Yeah, that's right. It's like, boy, your life Get sucks. into it, Yeah, man. my life sucks. Your life sucks. Light it up. <laughs> it's like, well, no, he'll be doing that when he pees later on. We'll hear that <laughs> screaming. Shoot me burning. Yeah, we'll be hear that screaming all the way down. <laughs> nice. Nothing like a bunch of lava shooting out the end of your penis. Well, it's like... I suggest you get it. Go get it. Go to the free clinic there. Get a shot, you know? Just keep drinking. It'll go away. <laughs> it's like, it'll stop when your dick Not falls off. That's right. Gut it, it up. From the inside out. <laughs> Gut it up, you pansy. <laughs> Oop. Hey. There, there you go. go. We might That's have something up. here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nope. False alarm shit. <laughs> of course. Anyway, it's like one of those, one of those fucking things. Huh? Uh, nope, 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 just crap, crap, crap. Tell me more. why I keep filming with you. Why I don't just go out on my own. Uh, well, because frankly, I'm, have any money? I'm the only one that has the camera. Oh, yeah. I have a J-O-B, motherfucker. I can buy my own camera. I'll tell you what. What? Got a J-O-B, I got a big ass studio, I got multiple cameras. I'll put you both to work. There you go. It's like, hey, we might Zeke's take... Zeke's a freaking pimp. We might take you up on that offer. It's like I'm probably going to need a new place to film anyway. But the Monastery of Mayhem is about to be co-opted by the Great Beast. You know? You want to take that there? You married it. I thought we were talking about my pants. What? Oh! Oh! Oh, nothing to say about that, Angry. Oops, speechless. Ah, I'm drinking. Shout them both. I got, oh. I got nothing. Ha. I got nothing. But a uh, <laughs> little uh, interesting little bit of trivia about the film. Uh, the, uh, the concept of the demonically possessed musical instrument, that goes all the way back to Wagner and his Ring of the Nibelung series. Uh, there were various objects that were possessed by various gods and demons in that whole saga that Wagner wrote. I mean, one of them was a flute. Uh, Amadeus, or... Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna throw that... Yeah, you know all about the possessed flute. Skin flute, that Skin is. Skin flute! He plays a mean tune. <laughs> all right. Say to the mic. Ah! Damn, you know, it's like, you're gonna remember this, bitch. I get mean when I drink. Yeah, you know I've noticed that. Yeah, you get, you know, they, if that was the case, I mean, you call it the Brother James Pissy Show. You get pissy. Shut it, bitch. You are syphilis to all my potatoes. Yeah, it's like, well, which one of us is pinky and which one of us is the brain? I don't think so, there's a brain involved. Uh, no, it's like, I think, that, I think that checked out a long time ago. 
But, um, you know, and uh, this movie is, uh, is an indie feature, and uh, the producers were kind enough to let us run this uh, ahead of uh, its appearance at a lot of uh, different conventions. What do you mean, kind? Well, this is the best free pub that money can't buy. Well, that's true. I mean, where do you, where else do you get this kind of exposure for no money down? We're doing it just because, hey, we like the film. That's right. It was a great film, and uh, you'll be able to see the whole thing in its entirety. You'd be uh, amazed on video on how page. much it goes on on this show just because we like you. You come on the show, we like you. If we don't like you, we destroy you on camera for all the world to see. Wow. Destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> we we like Zach. Z. Zach, we don't know his fucking name, but we like oh, that guy. Oh, shit. Well, shit. Well, we like you. My E's become A's when I drink cheap liquor. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Uh, <laughs> oh, look, like I said, you know, oh, 45% antifreeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Obama was sitting here, I'd probably be calling him Obama. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, then the Secret Service would beat the hell out of you. They'd tase you. Now that you. would be a show I would Wouldn't watch. The first time I've been tased or been beaten that. up. Yeah, Brother right. James can take a beating. But tasing like your damn, genitalia on purpose. I'm like That's a damn yeah. Timex. Take a licking and keep on ticking. Huh? Yeah, it's like now you're talking about your social life again. Okay. Quit bragging, all right? Again, I get chicks. Mm. Huh. I don't see any yeah, here. It's like, you did not get them here. Yeah, it's like, where are they? Maybe it's something to do with the feet. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you want to put those crusty <laughs> things, you want to put those crusty things down, you're getting, you're, you you're shedding all over my robe. <laughs> you know, you got that foot dander going on. Yeah, yeah, foot yeah. Dander. Yeah, well, you walk, I swear to God, you walk, little clouds of dead skin come up. You know, it's like, it's like, I don't even know what, you know. <laughs> Whatever there, green boy. Yeah, yeah, green boy, I'll give you a green boy, bitch. Anyway, I'm not wearing a dress, thank God. This is not a dress. This is a robe. It's okay. Dress with a hood. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I explain the pumps though. They make him feel sexy. Do they make and you? Do they make your ass look big? Yes. And in purple, I'm stunning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway, before this gets any weirder, uh, we want to thank our guest today, Zeke Lama of Quicksand Zeke. Devil. Here for you. Zeke, rock Every on. Time. You know, be sure and keep an eye out for Quicksand Devil. When I we dare you to show up. Yep. When we find out more about their shows, we'll be passing that on to you guys, and we'll be passing that on through our blog and our uh, podcast and a few other things as well. Um, you know, I'm Brother Jack Angry, along with this. Tubby bitch, Drunk guy over brother here. James, angry. Peace out, homies. Fuck you. <sighs> when did I lose? When did I lose control Fuck of this? You. Forty-nine years ago, motherfucker. Yeah, it's like forty-nine years My ago. My time flies. When yeah, time flies. Time. When, time flies when you're in hell. You know mm -hmm. that. Don't worry about it. Pretty soon you can collect your social security there, Grandpa. I gotta wait till I'm seventy to get anything decent. You know, and what's it going to be then? I mean, all these damn baby boomers, you know. They're going to be some free depends. <laughs> there you go. I'll be lucky, yeah. I'll be lucky if I get free adult diapers from the state, you know. What can you ask for? Yeah, well, that's right, you know. Yes, I am, and yes, I did, you know. <laughs> Oops, I crapped my pants. Yeah, if you've, uh, if you've watched, if you watched some original Saturday Night Live, you'd remember that bit, but... Anyway, next week we're bringing you another great film. We're going to bring you uh, the 1988 sci-fi gore classic Frankenhooker starring Patty Mullen. Oh, Jesus, Frankenhooker. Come on. When are we going to run Outland, for Christ's sake? I've been begging for Outland for months now. Yeah, and after this performance, uh, I think you're going to have to wait a while. You know? You know? Hey, you act like a bitch and this is what happens. Hey. We're looking for we're looking for hot chicks on the show. If you want to be on TV, we can put you on TV. So you want to get famous? We can help. And I don't think I'm gonna get famous from this. Well, never never assume, you know. We made Inferna famous. That's right. Inferna, yeah. you remember us, right? You and, remember us? 
And that's why she's not here. Yeah. She remembers. Yeah, it's like, it, yeah, she, rem she remembers. Shut it's up. like, Shut that's up. what you get for buying cheap roofies. Oh, man. He's a billy club. Hey, hey, that's not a bad idea. Thanks. I'll keep that. Cheap man going. roofie right there. Yeah, that's right. Go way back. That's old school on that one. Cheap man row hitting off. You know, <laughs> a big ass club. All right. Why don't we just move up into the 21st century? We'll just apply a stun gun to the base of the skull. Hmm. Nah, then they drool too much, you know. <laughs> this isn't a good look, you know. Ah, that's not a good look. Actually, that's the way you look every morning when you get up. Oh. That's because of arthritis, you know. It takes takes a little while for the rheumatism to wear off. Yeah, that's because there's that extra Y chromosome in your makeup. Dude, it's not a good look for the chicks. Mm -hmm. Chicks don't dig that. All right, that'll be enough out of you. I'm confiscating this. You'll get this back when you learn how to talk. Anyway, so good night from myself, Brother Jack Angry, this decrepit bitch, and Zeke Llama of Quicksand. Hey, oh, uh -huh. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And KP. That's how you make friends in Omaha. That's right. KPO, AO, we still want to. really think. We still want to stay on the air. Yeah, Kapow, please don't kick us off. Don't kick us off the air, please. But, so, good night, unpleasant dreams, and let's keep America on top. Watch horror hosts, y'all. Don't let your kids wind up like this. And where did I lose control of all this? I don't know. Somewhere in the bottom of that bottle. Yeah, it's like, oh no, it's like the rest of my afternoon is going to be really interesting because he'll finish that bottle off and then he'll want to walk around the house singing Katy Perry all day. Ooh, Katy Perry. Yeah, it's like if I hear firework one more time, I'm going to kill you. Would you rather I sang Dark Horses? Oh, God. God. Somebody kill me now, please. Careful, man. Too much more of this. It's going to be... Last Friday night, over and over and over. But what happened last Friday night? You got roofied, you don't remember? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Somebody, see, that's what happens when you go to a bar in Council Bluffs. You get all kinds of shit slipped that's into your happens, drink. Man. You know, not in a good way either. What, what the hell is that? I mean, with the, uh, with this shit, what are you, a frustrated Negro or something? You know? Tell me, the uh, pimp you took that stuff off, did you let him live, or do they just give you, when you buy enough gold and change, do they give you a big floppy hat to go with it? Well, every pimp needs a big floppy hat, bitch. Yeah, do you get, with those uh, shoes you wear, do you get a big red rubber nose, too? Yeah, I get your big red rubber <laughs> nose. Yeah, it's like a, the shrine didn't call, the, they need you for the clown unit or something, you know, you and the rest of them. Running around with your big rubber noses and everything? Yeah, you want to know what I'm going to do with them big shoes? Get suctioned down in front of a bus? You know, Bobo got a boo-boo? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to kick you right in the ass with... Yeah, you're you're going to have my size 26 shoe up your ass. Well, like I said, you know, not, not without dinner and drinks, but that's another story. Preferably a little lube. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, plenty of lube when the bleeding starts. Well, there's another, there's another metal picture I got to like scrub a anal rupture to help everything slide through. There you go. Hey. Nice. Peace out, yeah. homies. Before we lose control any further. What do you mean, before? <laughs> Dude, this is what happens when you go into something without a concrete plan. You get us. I like him. You, on the other hand, you're fired, bitch. Oh, I'm fired. Well... Uh, let's see, it, uh, the show is called The Angry Brothers, motherfucker, not The Angry Brother. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll type, we'll, we'll, we'll typecast. So. Yeah, you're going to have this tubby bitch sitting on a couch talking to himself. There's a good show for you. That'll last long. You're better off with the 50 ministers on K-Pal. Well, yeah. let me get a couple hand puppets going. <laughs> he <laughs> is a hand puppet. Huh. Yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll, I got my hand so far up his ass, his lips move. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, that's a little bit, that's a touch much. We're going to end it right here. Ooh, we're going to end it right here. Yeah. Three, two, one, one go. Out. 
All right. Well, that's that's how we do it, man.